the transaction for creating genial object model is genial model editor kindly note that genial model editor is a transaction came from 7.0 enhancement package 1 whereas in 7.0 this genial model editor is not available so my students uh, were trying to use the same transaction in 7.0 and uh, they came like the genial model editor was not available yes it is not available in 7.0 and in 7.01 only it is available yeah I have just went through the transaction genial model editor and I am providing the component that I have created yesterday Z mob so just I am going to the change mode as I am going to create few things for that so this is a genial model structure defined by the SAP where in a model root objects access objects dependent objects abstract objects query objects query result object dynamic query objects are present so by default all these objects will come and we need to create one by one and uh, so if, if you come back uh, to the session four or five yeah we discussed like the root object is a is, is, is a root object where uh, for a component at least one root object we need to have and through the root object you can edit the data and you can read the data and there is an access object yes it, it's like a root object but it can only be accessed that is nothing but we can only read the data from it so see it's it's all about the data reading the data dependent object yes dependent object is dependent on some other object maybe a root object maybe a access object maybe another dependent object dependent object the relationship between dependent object and its parent object is aggregation and composition yeah. then abstract object abstract object came up with 7.0 enhancement package 1 and if you want to abstract an object and you want to utilize it in another object then we would be going for the abstract object next query object as I told you there are two types of queries static queries and dynamic queries static query is nothing but where we need to define for example for customer ID we need to provide a complete customer ID we don't have facilities like greater than less than some logical operators so for those type of objects we would be adding in a query object and dynamic query object where we can add logical operators for that and another last one is a query result object so once you fire a query yes result will come that we would be defining in a query result object so these are all the objects provided by the SAP by this you can develop a genial object model for your respective component oh, oh my god oh can you hear me yes yeah. Yes, is there was some break between uh, uh, the uh, right now because I got a message like the audio is restored, so that's why I'm asking. No break. No break. Yeah. I can get. So this is what. Uh, don't get confused with the terms right now because for you uh, might be the root object, access object, dependent object. All these terms are new don't worry about this yes when we do some practices you will get to know what is the role of a root object what type of root object we need to create when we go for when we should go for the access object dependent object yeah day by day we would be looking into these things as we would be spending at least one week uh, 
because uh, as per the plan it, it should be a uh, one week but it depends how you understand uh, through this general object model and its programming so now for this z mob component i am creating a root object see my purpose of this project is to develop a system where it facilitates mobile details and thereafter sim details so based on the mobile details i would be looking for the sim details so my main component is mobile details so i would like to create it as a root object it has a I am putting it as a mobiles. So what you can give any name for the mobiles name object. So root object I have provided a name as a mobiles. For mobiles we need to provide key structure name, attribute structure name and create structure name. And web service enabled that is an optional. You want to enable uh, expose it as a web service or you don't want to yes that facility is available yeah these advanced settings yes when we go through the programs we will be going few of them right what should be the key structure for a root object mobiles so we have created a database tables let us go there and just check this is the table Z mobile we have created ZSM mobile detail NK a database transparent table where it contains a consumer ID mobile ID purchase date and credit rating data so this would be my root root table so I would be creating root object based on ZSM mobile details and here here uh, where it is where it is yes so here what should be the key structure for this whatever the key attributes for the table are my key structures why the key structure if <clears throat> as I told you earlier yeah from the root object we can fetch the data to fetch the data yes initially key structure should be maintained if the key structure is fulfilled yes by that key structure we can fire a query to the database table and we can get the complete field details so for that I would be I have already created a structure okay okay I'm sorry just uh, just let me come back I have created now I would like to create a key structure for this so we will see what are all the key structures and attribute structure so I am providing this one for create structure and I am putting web service enabled so that in the next uh, sessions we would be creating a web service based on this genome that this is for future use so just we will see what is the structure of Z mobile keys it's a consumer ID and mobile ID we have fields in a transparent table MNDT that we are ignoring consumer ID mobile ID purchase date and credit rating are the fields of ZSM mobile details transparent tables so we are taking only keys consumer ID mobile ID 
and then attribute structure means this should provide a complete details about that respective data that is where we have provided a structure we have created a structure for time consumption I have already created I hope you should be clear with creating a structures if not kindly let me know so that I will be creating a structure now yeah consumer ID mobile ID purchase date credit rating these are the fields of my table just a minute. Let me show you the table I think this is the uh, this is the table that we uh, we have created as a database table where it contains mandatory consumer ID mobile ID as a keys and two more fields as a purchase date and credit rating that we have provided so that's where we have I'm coming back yeah these are the key fields and these are all the attributes that the database contains and this is a create structure let us see what are all the fields it contains consumer ID mobile ID since those are the keys yes those are the mandatory fields and my organization always wants purchase date as a create field so I have added one more one so any doubts on this key structure, attribute structure and create structure? So Devinder, why does the create structure not have the credit rating field? Cool, very good. See, it's, it's my organization wish. Now create structure is, uh, in a real time it is something like yeah, I want to create an entry for a customer with a mobile ID. So what are all the mandatory fields I need to fill it? So now, for now, uh, my organization doesn't, yeah, it, it's up to the organization. It's up to the business. It's, it's uh, uh, not, not like uh, as per the code, we need to have the key fields. That is a mandatory in a structure, create structure. Apart from the key fields, yes, you can have fields. Uh, you can have a credit rating as well. Okay, okay. So, to, I, I don't want to make attribute structure and create structure as the same, so that people will get confused with those two things. So, I, I to differentiate everything, I make I made key key structure as a different one, attribute structure as a different one, create structure as a different. One. In a normal case, create structure and key structure will be the same. In a normal way, I mean, key fields. Key fields means yes, yes. They, those are the key fields which should be there. But in a generalized way, maybe company wants some some extra field as a create field. Yes, without purchase date, I don't want to create an entry. Then yes, we can have. That's the option we have and web service enabled for future prospecting. Yeah. Right. Now I would be creating a dependent object. So what is my dependent object is a sim. For sim I have key structure. So I have already created it. ZSM sim details yes key and for attributes I have created the same name attributes and now root object so this this is a hierarchy as we discussed genial objects contains a hierarchy so it says what is the uppermost object for this hierarchy obviously this will be mobile because the, the entry point for these respective details is through the mobiles only. And what is a super object? 
since it is a child object, yes, its super object is its parent object. That is nothing but our mobile object. And we are putting it as a web service enabled for the future perspective. We, we want to expose it as a web service sometime later. See here the key structure as as we discussed similar like the, the mobile so whatever the key fields are there that we would be adding into the structures field consumer ID, mobile ID and SIM provider. And attributes yeah should contain all the fields consumer ID, mobile ID, SIM provider, SIM plan and customer rating. And these two ones. Yeah, here can we observe one thing? The create structure is available, is mandatory for the root objects, but not for the dependent object. Why so? Any guesses? So here I have create structure, attribute structure. But whereas for root object, I have one more structure as a create structure. Why so? So Devendra, just guessing, hmm. you uh, you are not allowed to create a dependent object by itself, right? Beautiful. Yeah, that's the answer. If you want to create a dependent object, it should be through the root object. You cannot create a dependent object directly. But you can create a root object directly and through the root object you can create a dependent object. Yeah. And it is uh, very most important to understand because tomorrow I mean I mean we are going to code uh, for the same so we need to have that in our mind that okay we cannot create a dependent object directly. So to create a dependent object yeah root object should be there. Here, from a business perspective, see, first a consumer will have a mobile and in that mobile SIM cards are available. Let us take dual SIM cards. So we cannot come back this SIM directly we can we cannot enter the details of the SIM because unless until there is a mobile, unless until a, there is a customer, you cannot have a SIM details. You got me? If, yeah. yeah, if SIM exists means that SIM is with respect to somebody, some mobile. Without these two, com these two consumer ID and uh, mobiles, there is no SIM available. That's why this has become a dependent object. SIM has become a dependent object for mobiles. So for mobiles we would be having sims. So in that sense I have made root object as a mobile so that is a main object and mobiles will have a sim card. Okay. Right. And now I would be creating a dynamic query object. I want to go through the dynamic search. Nowadays uh, most of the requirements will be coming for the dynamic query but yeah very less for the query object since that is a static one and end users uh, doesn't want uh, something to remember. Hello, can you hear me? 